Well, today we're looking at an alien kit. We're actually looking at my cat's bottom. What are you doing, me? Um, this is an alien kit produced by a company called Halcyon. Uh, they had the alien license in the late 80s, uh, early 90s. They produced a range of kits. They did things like the uh, Nostromo in vinyl. Um, hello. They did uh, dropships and the APC in styrene plastic. Uh, really great kits. Um, used to be dirt cheap. Now they're very expensive. You're not going to move now. You're not going to move. Gonna... What we're dealing with here is the perfect organism. It's called Mookster. Okay, well, Moo Moo is moved across a bit. You right, Mags? Bless her. Um, yeah, so Halcyon um, produced loads of nice kits. This is the 1 5th scale PVC kit, vinyl kit, and this is based on uh, uh, an older kit from a Japanese company called Sakuda, and it, that was in turn based on the Kenner large alien action figure they did so it's quite a, a convoluted pedigree for this kit uh, managed to pick this one up really reasonably it's all still bagged inside it's never been touched i think it was out, out of someone's attic uh, really reasonably on ebay um, so it's one i'm going to be making but i thought we'd have a look at what what you get in the box you're right you would have uh, you would have done well in Alien, wouldn't you, instead of Jonesy? You would have uh, dobbed all the crew in, wouldn't you? Yeah, survived, made a deal with the Alien. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, um, when Maggie calms down, I'm going to get all the parts out and we'll have a look. But in the meantime, let's have a look at the box. You all right, Maggie? You're not moving, are you? I think she wants my chair. Let's see if she will. Get my chair out. Yeah, look at this, lad. Just because I'm sat in it. Okay, we can do this stood up. Uh, so let's have a look at the box. So we've got Halcyon Alien Model Kit, one fifth scale PVC. Collector's item, not a toy, not suitable under 14 years of age. Ooh. Same on the back. Uh, There's not a lot of detail on it. Uh, so you've got a little bit of uh, the science officer eyes only, order 937, and then a rundown of the film. Then on the side, this kit contains parts to construct one model. Okay, so let's get all the parts out and we'll have a look. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we get a bag of parts and we get a couple of bits of paper. And this one is telling you that this is a uh, vinyl PVC, polyvinyl, something or other. Um, and it tells you how to build it because it's difficult to think back to the uh, the 80s when um, we didn't really have certainly in the UK we didn't really have uh, that many vinyl kits it was something most people weren't used to and these were aimed definitely at the the airfix crowd um, so coming along this I remember the first vinyl kit I ever had was the uh, Horizon Bela Lugosi Dracula um, and I opened the box, what do you do with this? Uh, and basically, what I was, I'll do a making of video as well. Um, but uh, this is just, but basically what you had to do was heat the parts in sort of warm water, cut them to size with a scalpel, um, and then pop them together. So a bit different. And you had to use super glue if you had to glue a part, because you couldn't just use air fix cement. Let's have a look at the instructions. Halcyon Alien. Caution, not suitable for children under three years. Not suitable for children under 14 years. It's quite a range, isn't it, that? Why would you give this to a three-year-old? Um, so you get the instruction sheet. So it's a fold-out sheet. So let's have a look. So you get a parts list. So nicely drawn as well, so you can identify them. Um, and then you get instructions, so let's have a look, so the grey bits you cut away, and like I say, with vinyl, so much easier if you uh, dunk it in hot water first, or you can use a hairdryer, but I dunk in, in boiling water is easier, and then it will cut, if you try and cut it without warming it up, snappy snappy blade time. Um, so as I say, this was based on 
a model that was based on the Kenner figure. And the Kenner figure obviously had a movable jaw and inner jaw that came out. This doesn't, so it's fixed. Um, so yeah, it's carefully cut away grey areas. And we've got the, the arms. And then the legs. And then the spine assembly. And the good thing about this, you can make it so that the head can turn, the arms can turn, the legs can turn. And here we go, popping it all together. So again, you heat it up, pop it in, and when it cools down, it makes a lovely uh, joint. And there he is, in all his gory glory. Uh, painting guide. Body colour, oval shades of very dark green and black mottled. Ooh. Uh, the paint is going to be interesting. I might try and do it with my airbrush. I'm not, I'm not really confident on the airbrush, but I might do that and try and film that. Um, the teeth of the creature are silver, both in the mouth and on the tongue. Is it really a tongue? I suppose it could be. That's how he eats his wheat bits. So that's the instruction sheet. Let's pop it one side. Let's have a look at the parts. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got the body first. Some absolutely stunning detail on these kits. Really nicely done. So we've got a body. We've got a tail, and the tail has a piece of bendable wire in it, so you can position it, which I think is a nice touch. Then we've got there's the so we've got the groinal area and there's bum bum cheeks. So we've got a body in it. There's the head. Oh look at that, that's excellent. Be fun painting this, I think. Weird stuff flying him. It really holds the detail. So we got his bottom jaw. Are you gonna focus? There we go. We've got teeth, num num. And we've got should have four of these back spines. We've got the I don't know what you'd call it, is middle back spine. Uh, you get two foot bottom pieces. You get I'll see the legs, look at them, they're good. So yeah, so to fill the hole up, they give you a bottom piece, which is a nice touch, and again, that'll fit in the legs. So you get a bit of leg movement as well. Um, and obviously you get two thigh pieces, so look at this, it's gonna be a dry brush and dream this. Um, Arm-wise, no elbow joints, but swivel joints on the arms. Um, there should be a couple of hands in there. Yeah, so look at the hands. That's great, good detail. Uh, that's the right hand. So I'm presuming somewhere in here is the left hand. I hope so. Yeah, there it is. Right hand, left hand. Looks the same. So you've got the slightly phallic back of the head. Um, well, this is uh, what they call it a tongue, but the inner jaws. Um, and then, of course, you get the dome, the clear dome. And this is a very soft vinyl. Um, obviously, the toy one had a solid, clear top, which is always lost. Uh, this is soft vinyl. So let's sniff it. Yep, smells like a plaid paddling pool. Um, so that'll be interesting to cut out and stick on. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think this is going to be a really good fun kit to make. Um, I'll do a video on the making of it, uh, but this is just to show you what you get in the box. Um, so the, there's bargains still out there to be had on alien kits. So uh, if you see one, grab one. They're getting a bit rare. I did toy with not making it up because it's a collectible, but uh, no, it's a kit. It's got to be made up. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos like this. Let me know if you want to see the building up video and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.